Uh, my name is Sam Vickersdeath. I'm the chief executive of CDKN, and I have the honor to have a short conversation with uh, Dr. Neville Trotz, who's the science advisor to the Caribbean Community Climate Change Center. And I'm only going to say that once, five Cs, otherwise known as that. Um, Neville, it's very nice to have this chance to talk to you. We've been at CDKN working with you, and I've been very struck by a statistic uh, in the implementation plan on climate resilience that, uh, that you've been developing over the past months about the economic costs of inaction in relation to climate change. Let me briefly read this to the audience to set the context of the enormous challenge you face around building resilience, um, managing climate change and rising sea level. Across, across just three categories of um, costs, increased hurricane damages, loss of tourism and infrastructure damages, the projected annual cost of inaction uh, by 20, 2025 will cause 5% loss of GDP, by 2050, 10%, and by uh, 2,122 respectively. And, and as well expressed in the, in the implementation plan, the net effect of the cost of this scale is equivalent to causing a perpetual economic recession in each of the CARICOM member states. This is a huge challenge your countries face um, and you've produced a, a plan to support, uh, to support uh, the efforts to, to address this. Perhaps you can tell us, uh, Neville, how the plan is, is helping the 15 CARICOM member states to, to rise to this challenge. So we had uh, a political mandate at our climate change center to prepare a plan for the region to address uh, climate change. That was important for us because it gave us credibility. It also gave us some sort of legitimacy. So when we went into countries, we were able to meet with uh, the highest sort of officers in government, private sector, NGOs, institutions, etc. Now, the greatest challenge one had basically was to engage these different countries with different interests, of course there are some common interests, uh, in a conversation to define action to deal with climate change uh, in the period 2011 uh, to 2021. It's a 10 year plan we are addressing. And how I think we were able to manage it was to ensure that that plan we had a very uh, in-depth consultative process. It's not a question of bringing people together and having these sort of mock consultations, basically, and going away and say that you consulted. These were in-depth consultations. Uh, whatever we wrote, we went back to people to, uh, to get validation. But in the end, when people looked at the plan, they saw in it elements there that address it, that address their national concerns. Thank you, Neville. Is, is the agenda just about resilience, or are there some low-carbon opportunities no, in your region? It is uh, uh, low-carbon uh, development for a simple reason, not because of our prick of conscience about the less than 1% greenhouse gases we put in the atmosphere. But in 2008, for instance, when we had the spike in oil prices, many of our Caribbean countries had to outlay as much as 60% of their foreign exchange earnings to keep the fossil fuel habit going. That's unsustainable. 